Hey guys, Dr. John Rustin here, and we're going over another neuromuscular trigger point technique, and this time we're going into the lateral hip. So if you have generalized lower back pain, some hip mobility issues, some hip tightness, this is gonna be a great area to address because we're really hitting multiple muscles on the lateral side of the hip, including the glute group. So the test that I like to use functionally to see if this thing is working or not is the single leg stance test. So Lindsay's gonna be standing on her right foot here, She's gonna come up and she's gonna achieve a 90-90 position and she's gonna hold this position as long as she can. So that's gonna be our pretest. We're gonna test this again after we go over the technique. So we're gonna be using a softball here. It's a little bit bigger, but this is actually a kid's softball. It's used for practice and it's a lot softer because this is gonna be a really sensitive region up into this hip. So Lindsay's gonna come down on the ground and what we're gonna be putting this at is this soft tissue region right between these two bones here. So the ball's gonna be sitting right about here. So let's get you positioned. So again, we're over nerves here. So the superior and inferior gluteal nerves are the ones that we're after. Notice that Lin Lindsay's in a good position here. So anytime that you're doing these trigger point release techniques, we wanna make sure that our body is in a good position. So she has good stability here, good stability at the hands and the forearms. So we're gonna achieve a knee position of 90 degrees in the backside here. And Lindsay's gonna be going into flexion and extension of her right side here, you know, grading the pressure that she's putting through that ball on the lateral side of the hip. Because there's a lot of different musculature down here, we can actually use two different positions to try to floss this nerve. So from here, we can bring the knee down and start going into rotation, both internal and external. You can see she picks up the foot, external rotation of the hip, and then the foot comes back down towards the ground, internal rotation. 15 to 45 seconds here, and we're gonna come up and retest that single leg position. Again, make sure that we're seeing pain alleviation benefits, but also functional benefits when we're doing these neuromuscular trigger point techniques.